Good morning. So in my shortest video ever, I just want to show you that you can fire non-hollow spherical shapes, okay? They don't all blow up. Sorry, this is really, really hot, but there is another one here. I don't want to burn myself right now, but I fired much, much bigger ones than this. The only trick is they have to be completely dry inside, and yes, there is no way of telling because some of them get so big. So all you have to do is just candle for a ridiculous amount of hours. Now, this one was drying on a shelf for like three, four weeks, and um, I candled it for six hours. Um, you know, it's about two inches across. But something bigger, I mean, I've candled up to like 24 hours. But yeah, they make it and they don't blow up. And the reason for that is because what blows up is not air. What blows up is water. When water hits 212 degrees, it turns into vapor and expands rapidly, which is what's causing your blow up. If that water is not there, there is nothing to blow up. So as long as you get, can get all of that water out, it doesn't really matter how thick your piece is. Okay, it is a very, very common myth. You don't have to put pinholes in them. You don't have to hollow them out or open them. You just have to get all that water out. Now, if you can't do that, then yeah, maybe you have to hollow out your piece or do whatever you need to do. But if you can somehow get all the water out, either by candling for a super long time or, you know, whatever it takes, drying it for three years on a shelf, um, if all that water can get out, then you're safe. And I just wanted to literally give you guys a proof of this. My proof is really, really hot and I'm burning myself, but this is definitely going to burn me. <laughs> See? No holes. This is just a face. This is my student's work. <laughs> but I just wanted to um, make sure that I'm clear on that point. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I got to go teach a class. Have a wonderful day. Bye.